Okay, hey guys, this is uh, going to be a disassembly how-to video on the um, Motori style and Chow Li style uh, motor cans because some people asked for it. Um, so what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to take off your pinion gear first. Um, probably taking off the grub screw depending on which kind of motor you have. If you have a D-type pinion or an O-type pinion, uh, you would just pry it off otherwise. Um, just FYI, this little grub screw right here is a 1.3 millimeter uh, Allen head. So if you can hunt that little thing down, um, I recommend using that one. Okay, and then you're going to take the motor tower off like that. And then at the bottom, there are usually two screws right here and right here. So then I'm going to take my Torx head in this case and... Sorry, this is hard to do behind a camera. Just unscrew this. And I've never taken apart one of the um, one of the TX motors before, so you know I might break it when probably would be an improvement over how the TX motor actually performs. <laughs> I'm just I just bought this for the um, for the can because the magnets are particularly strong in these. Um, I'm gonna put in a either a Chowley armature or maybe a Matrix six, 16 TPA Magnum armature and just have something either balanced or really torquey. Just for the record, in case you didn't pick up on it yet, um, what was it? Uh, TX motors are a boatload of ass. Like they're really bad. Don't buy them. Anyway, so let's see. I got these contact pieces off. And then, oh, before that, you're probably going to want to detension the springs right here. Like this. Like that. And then, let's see how this one will come off. You usually need to pry this thing on the side and this thing on the side, but what I usually do is I just start smacking it and it'll start to come off. Uh, fair warning though, you can break um, these uh, end bells if you smash too hard on it, and I've done it before. Particularly with the Matrix uh, 3000 motors. Oh, there goes a the spring. Yep, there goes a the brush. Hold on, I'm going to go smash this against the floor really quick. Okay, so, there we go. So then you can see the end bell is removed, and then you can just... What's in there? Oh, that's the balancing on the armature. Interesting. That's actually a lot of windings. Um, this looks like a pretty slow motor though. Actually, I should have tested this before I just went ahead and broke it, but I bought a boneyard, so I assume that this was already broken or not working. Um, let's see, yeah, it should, it should eventually smash out. Give me one another second. get something hard to smack it out with. Oh, okay, at this point, if I just press down hard enough. Wow. This is a stubborn bastard to get out. Oh, there we go. Okay. There you go. Armature magnets. So that's how to disassemble it. Um, in uh, yeah, I can't think of anything else I want to say other than that was particularly difficult to get that arm this armature out, and it's a shame because it looks like it was attempted to have been balanced, but the solder 
joints up here at the actual terminals. I, I don't know. I haven't. I don't know what you call these up here, but then kind of shitty solder. Um, the windings are pretty insane, though. I mean, that's a lot, a lot of windings in there. Hmm. I wonder if this armature still works or if it's totally burnt out. Uh, we'll see. All right. Uh, thanks for subscribing, guys. Just let me know if you got any questions in the section below. Um, uh, later.